So in a past video, we've already explored the concept of package management. I showed you all the commands to install, upgrade packages, remove packages, basically everything you need to know to manage packages on your Linux system. But that video was very specific to the Debian style. That includes Debian itself, distributions that are based on Debian, as well as Ubuntu and distributions that are based on that, which include Pop! OS or Linux Mint. So by understanding the Debian style, you understand already a large portion of all the distributions out there because the commands from one will usually apply to the other. But what happens if you're using a distribution that is not based on Debian or Ubuntu? And CentOS and Fedora fit into that example. They are not based on Debian. They use a completely different package manager. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of package management but I'm going to show you how to do that on CentOS as well as Fedora. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so here in my terminal, I have two Linode instances, basically cloud virtual machines, at my disposal here that I'm going to use for this tutorial. If you don't already know how to create your own Linode, I have a dedicated video for that. But it doesn't have to be a cloud instance. It could be a virtual box, virtual machine, a physical installation, it really doesn't matter. I have two terminal tabs open. Here on the left, I have CentOS. And then here on the right, I have Fedora. How do I know that? Because this name is very misleading. I didn't even bother changing the name when I created these instances. So how would I tell? So this isn't the subject matter that we're going over, but it's just a quick tip. I could simply do cat slash Etsy OS dash release. So that command right there will give me some information about the distribution that I'm running on. So I'll press enter. And you can see from here, I'm using CentOS, like I mentioned, it's version seven. And then we have some more information going down here. If I do the same thing on my Fedora Linode, you can see that I get pretty much the same information. I am running Fedora 30, this is the server edition. And then again, we have all the information about this particular distribution. So let's get started with CentOS. CentOS uses the YUM package manager, which is spelled Y-U-M. And to get some basic information here, we can just look at the man page. We can see what it stands for, Yellow Dog Updater Modified. And then we can get some information here. If we scroll down, we get all kinds of options. And I'm not gonna go over all of these options here. I'm gonna give you guys the basics. But we have update, update minimal, check update, upgrade, remove, and so on. I'm gonna press Q to quit out of here. And let's install a package. I'm gonna show you the way in which you would install a package. Now, first of all, we should search for packages. So what I'm gonna do is type yum search, and then a search term that we can use to search for. So I want to install vim enhanced. So I'll press enter. And we can see the package name right here is vim enhanced. We can ignore the dot x86 64 unless we actually want to install something else. We're basically interested in the name before the period here. I already knew that the package name was Vim Enhanced, but I just wanted to show you guys the process of searching. Now that we know the name of the package that we want to install, we do sudo, which I actually don't need to do because I'm actually running as root, as you can see right here. Yum install, and then the name of the package. I'll press enter. Now, what it's going to do is look at which dependencies are necessary to satisfy the requirements of this package. And here at the bottom, it's going to give me an option to uh, agree and go ahead and download it. I'm gonna say no for now. And recall the command. So that's how you install something. Now, one thing you can do is do dash Y for yes, which basically means it's not going to prompt you at all. Now here's the difference. It just went and did it. It didn't ask me, are you sure? Like you saw in the previous step, it went ahead and installed it. And again, I just added the dash Y to that command. Now I don't really advise the use of dash Y. It's actually a pet peeve of mine. I see this happen all the time. 
Uh, a lot of Linux administrators out there use dash Y. Dash Y means accept the, you know, the confirmation, but what if it wants to remove a package and you didn't want it removed or you know, ends up removing a bunch of dependencies and breaks something else? I really don't like dash Y, but you know, it's okay because sometimes in scripts, you'll need something like dash Y to automate something. And you know, there's really no way around that because I'm assuming you'll test your scripts before you deploy them. You know that they work and you know that the commands do what you want. Just use dash Y with care. So I went ahead and installed Vim Enhanced, which means I do have Vim installed. That's my preferred text editor, as you may have heard in a previous video. And now we have that installed. But what if I want to remove that package? I could do sudo yum remove, and then the name of the package, which again was Vim Enhanced. And it's basically just giving me a confirmation. I'll say yes. Clear the screen. And you can see that Vim is not installed anymore. We'll get back to the video shortly, but I'd like to take a moment to thank my sponsor, Linode. Linode makes it easy and affordable to host your app, site, or service in the cloud. Unlike entry-level hosting services that only offer pre-configured servers, Linode is your step up to powerful, fast, and fully configurable cloud computing. Linode offers many of the top Linux distributions that you can install in one of their 10 worldwide data centers. With server plans starting at just $5 plus no hidden fees or surprise overages, Linode offers no nonsense hosting at a price you can afford. Check out the URL at the bottom of the screen to receive $20 in credit toward your very own Linode instance. I definitely recommend you check out Linode. It's also the platform I use personally and I couldn't be happier with it. Be sure to check out Linode and let's get back to the video. Now let's check out Fedora. Now at first glance you might think that Fedora uses the same package manager. If you do which yum, you'll see that yum is actually, it's here, it's present. And you can actually use that to install packages. But before we do that, let's take a closer look. If we do ls against the results of the which command, which again was user bin yum, and I'm gonna use dash l here, we see something pretty interesting. It's a symbolic link that's pointing to something called DNF. Now, let's do the same thing here. User bin yum, same thing. It's not a symlink, it's an actual binary. So we can already see that that's different. So what's going on here? What is DNF? So we'll do man DNF. And from the description here, we see that DNF is the next upcoming major version of yum. So already we can see that Fedora actually uses a different package manager than CentOS. So let's see what happens if we try to use yum on Fedora. We'll do this, the same thing. yum search vim enhanced. And it's refreshing itself, which can happen. And we have a result. So the yum command seemed to work fine. So what happens if we try to use it to actually install the package? So sudo yum install. Again, I don't actually need sudo. Vim enhanced. Now in this case, Vim Enhanced was already installed in the Linode instance, so let's try a different package for example. I'm going to install a package called HTOP. Now you need a different repository in CentOS to install this, but it's something that I want in Fedora. It is, it is actually available, so if I do yum search HTOP, we can see that it's available. So I'm going to do yum install HTOP. I'm leaving out sudo because I don't actually need it. I'm running as root. And you can actually see that it's working just fine. I'll say no, and let's change yum to DNF. DNF install htop. 
Now if I didn't know any better, I'd say that the output looks exactly the same. So what's going on here? As you saw in a previous command I entered, the yum executable is actually a symbolic link to DNF in Fedora. So whether you call it with DNF or yum, you're using DNF. So if you use yum to run your updates or install packages, you're actually being redirected to DNF. Previous versions of Fedora would actually tell you this on the command line to make sure that you were aware of that. And the reason why they're doing this is because Fedora used to use yum just like CentOS. And a lot of administrators out there may have written scripts that are actually calling yum. And this symlink actually serves as a compatibility la layer to make sure that the uh, scripts actually work. So you don't actually have to manage and change all of your scripts to use DNF manually. It'll just simply redirect. Now at a later date, it's possible that that redirection will be removed. So if you do have older scripts that are using yum and Fedora, you probably should get those changed over to DNF. So I'm going to say Y for yes and press enter. And here, this is the very first package that's ever being installed here from this repository. So it's just making sure that it's okay to proceed, which is fine. And I'll say Y, enter again. And it went ahead and installed HTOP. Let's go ahead and run it. And we can see that HTOP is actually installed. Quit out of here. So now what will we do if we want to upgrade all of the packages installed on the system? So let's go over here to CentOS and let's run yum upgrade. If I wasn't running as root, I would need to use sudo, but yum upgrade should allow us to install all the package updates for everything on the distribution. So let's check it out. And we see that we have 72 packages that need to be upgraded. One will be newly installed here. So press Y and then enter. See everything downloaded very quickly. And now the packages are installing. So it looks like 145 components here to update. And there we go, we updated all the packages on the CentOS system. So let's do the same thing over here on Fedora. I'll use DNF upgrade. And we have quite a few packages here, 294, actually more than that. So let's go ahead and get those installed. So Y, enter. And there we go, we installed updates on Fedora. Of course, there's more to the DNF and yum commands than just that, but I showed you how to search for packages, install packages, and upgrade them as well. So that's more than enough to get you started, and then you could check out the man pages for more. But I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys a look at package management on distributions that are not based on Debian or Ubuntu, and this video has solved that purpose. So stay tuned guys, I will have more videos in this series coming very soon. Make sure you subscribe and you'll be the first to see them when they come out. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you wanna help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books and also my affiliate store, which has a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.